was ambient tweeting. That's what Roseanne Barr said today, claiming the sleep aid drug is the reason she compared former Obama advisor Valerie Jarrett to the offspring of apes. Her defenders on social media insist it was just a joke, but as CBS 2's Jim Williams reports, such descriptions have long been used to dehumanize African Americans. It's not a new thing, but it is disheartening that in 2018, we're still talking about, people are still using that as the, um, as the punch, right? As Chicago State Professor and Department Chair Kelly Norman Ellis points out, racists have called African Americans apes from when the first slaves arrived on these shores more than 400 years ago and through and beyond Barack Obama's presidency. This is little Hussein. He and the former first lady were depicted as monkeys, in other words, inferior to whites. To compare black people to apes goes straight to that, um, the heart of dehumanizing someone. Um, and that's why black people respond so strongly. Why African Americans and many others of all races have condemned Roseanne Barr for this tweet. The Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes had a baby, VJ. Former White House advisor Valerie Jarrett responded Tuesday night. I'm fine. I'm worried about all the people out there who don't have a circle of friends and followers who come right to their defense. Jarrett calls it a teaching moment. Kelly Norman Ellis teaches her students the painful historical context. Now, when they hear somebody like Roseanne make this comparison, they know where it comes from. They know it's not a joke. Well, you don't have to look far on social media to see people defending Roseanne Barr and attacking ABC for canceling her show. Many of her supporters are urging Barr to fight back. Robin Ellis, the thought police, Roseanne's critics mm -hmm. are calling, uh, Roseanne's supporters are calling her critics. Okay, thank you mm -hmm. for the perspective.